How you doing everyone? Jenny the Heat here. A uh, quick video, another quick video on just some basic uh, medical supplies you should have in your home uh, prior to any storm, any disasters out there that might happen. Just some basic basic things here. First thing is, is rubbing alcohol. You can really never have too much of it. You're always going to use it. Same thing with hydrogen peroxide for cleaning out wounds. And you have some uh, iodine also, just to uh, clear up any wounds that you might have. And also some triple antibiotic ointment. All those things right there is to protect the wound and clean it. Very important in any, any disaster. Also, Band-Aids, gauze. You know, for the purpose of this video, I didn't take the time too much to break out all the uh, medical supplies that I do have, but these are, these here are just examples of some of the things you should have. And, you know, we all know with Band-Aids and bandages, you know, you need to have the medical tape along with that. And, uh, you know, for, for wounds and things like that, they also sell products called Quick Clot, which if you do have a uh, massive wound, it'll cauterize it and stop the bleeding. But these are just some examples of basic things that you should have. Things like nasal decongestant, some Benadryl, cough medicine, liquid skin there. It's going to help you out a whole lot during any, you know, medical, uh, anything medically that should happen to you. It's small things that you can handle. And you can get real advanced with, you know, the amount of medical supplies you have, like uh, field dressing kits, also field suture kits, all those things. But just keep in mind, these are the basic things that you should have. You could go out and you could spend some money and buy, your, you know, you can get as elaborate as you want with your medical when it comes to uh, your preparing. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, just start off small. You get a medical kit or a first aid kit. You know, for a decent one, it's going to run you about 20 bucks. You could pretty much build one from some of the stuff that you have at home or just, you know, go to your local pharmacy and just piece it together and have a decent amount of uh, medical uh, supplies on hand in case anything happens. But, you know, you're always going to need Band-Aids, always going to need the triple antibiotic ointment, you know, as well as the alcohol and the um, hydrogen peroxide. You know, you might not need the, the liquid skin all the time, but it does help. Same thing with the cough medicine and the allergy medications. You know, you always, and also what I didn't uh, put here on this little display is ibuprofen. You know that you're always going to need ibuprofen for whatever reason. It, it, it always comes in handy. You know, but when you're starting out prepping for these things, these basic things that I have here, use them as a guide to buy more and more um, medical. Uh, safety um, medications and things of that nature. You know, start off buying alcohol and peroxide and slowly, you know, build your way up into more and more complex things. Things that you can handle at home, which, we, which you don't necessarily need uh, any EMS, you know, to come to your home. And not only that, it's always important that you, you know, you know CPR and basic first aid. It'll always help, and you're not going to get any stupider by learning any of this, but, you know, this way you can help out your neighbors, help out people in your community if you have a bunch of this stuff. You, you know you're always going to need it. And just keep in mind these medications, they do have a shelf life on them, so, you know, try not to go too, too crazy with them. But you can never have enough alcohol and hydrogen peroxide, you know, as well as, you know, the Band-Aids that are obviously... Um, sterile. Things like cotton balls, Q-tips, things like that will help you out immensely in any type of disaster if you do have any type of medical issues within the family. And all, like I said, all this stuff can be bought, you know, piece it together slowly. It'll help you out. 